We're live here at Stanford Healthcare, where once again we're seeing an appreciation event. These police officers, sheriff's deputies, and firefighters are back at it once again here in the South Bay as they are giving these doctors, nurses, and staff members a rousing welcome to work this morning during the shift change at Stanford Hospital. Good morning, everybody. How are you guys? Uh, if you're not busy, can you please join to the huddle, please? Good morning, everybody. So before I start, no sign of any symptoms of COVID, like uh, headache, fever. Everybody's good. When we see the patient trays go up on the paper trays, we you know we know that that's a that's for a COVID patient you know suffering from this horrific disease. It just it makes it that much more real. When you put everything together on site at the hospital, uh, we would feed about 7,000 people a day. But pretty much overnight, we switched several models. There was less volume in the cafeteria overall. In those moments, there was a lot of uh, quick conversations. And so we had to certainly think of ways of not only pivoting the offerings, but making sure that we could provide nourishing, delicious food to those that were here. And what could we do to lift spirits? What about you? You want the green or the red salsa? Good morning. Green salsa, OK. And for you, are you having the one order? What about you? You want the green or the red? Half and half. How are you? I spoke with them, with many doctors, nurses, and I can see they were tired. You know, I had to do something. We're talking about opening a new station. I say, I think they would love chilaquiles. If I make the salsas, I will bring more people, give them a little bit of happiness. Around six in the morning, we have the first rush, which is all the nurses that work all night. They take a breakfast home. They take the chilaquiles home for their husbands or wives or uh, moms, sisters. Growing up in Mexico, chilaquiles is like a celebration for us. I make it all myself. I try to improve them with making different salsas. I like to put the cheese first, uh, cilantro, the sour cream. I like to put the chicken on the side and the eggs on the side because I don't like them to cover my chilaquiles. Being able to get creative and to model something after, you know, somebody else's favorite sandwich or your own family recipe. You can feel like you're tasting home without being able to go home and feel like you're taken to another place for a few moments when you can't actually go anywhere. This panzanella salad, I would love your guys' thoughts on it. Okay. Every Wednesday in April, we would want to do a spring panzanella. What do we got in there? Uh, mixed greens. Mixed greens, cannelloni beans, asparagus, carrots. Snap peas. Snap peas. Cucumbers. Cucumbers. A uh, little bit of feta, I do believe. When the pandemic hit, you know, the fire department, the paramedics, the police. Lights on, cars honking, signs. They all came here to thank us for what we're doing. Notions of, of gratitude. It, it was amazing. Everybody were so tired. I can see the nurses, the doctors. <laughs> there was nerves and some fear, lots of emotions running for a lot of people, but we could continue to provide that place of respite. It is our mission and our passion that, you know, food is, is a source of healing. Having a family member in the hospital and if they were sick for a week, a month, what have you, and they weren't able to eat the whole time, and this is their first meal that they're having again, you, you gotta think about that's what you're serving each and every time. I'm looking forward to celebrating again in person in whatever safe capacity that ends up coming back. This is a land of amazing human relationships. Stanford Hospital is made up of just the most incredible people. And being able to come together is, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait.